Yes. Are you Niobe, the famous painter? Was. A friend of mine is obsessed with your work. I don't want to hear about your friend or anyone else. I'm sorry. Did I upset you? You did. It's not your fault, but I had to snap at you. Uh, why? No one cared about my art, but they loved to look at the smoking wreckage of my career. I don't talk about that. Okay, I respect that. I'm starting over. I'm here. This is what I've got now. Is the museum's collection the real reason you're here? What makes you ask that? I'm supposed to be trying new things in my life. That's what everyone says. Move on. Be new. Try new things. Don't dwell. Sorry if I offended. It just seems like a pretty rare chance to study all of this great work. Oh, guilty. I heard different words from what you meant. I can't even begin to tell you what it's like. When I was small, and the other girls were crushing on the boys, I was falling in love with Phidias. No joke. A terminal art girl from the jump. Which reminds me, in case it's contagious, I've got books for you. Learn the language and art will speak to you. If I wasn't so terrified of that nightmarish amphitheater, I'd be skipping around the place. What's your art background? I completed my first piece, oatmeal on vertical plaster wall, at six months. It was magnificent. From there, it was variations on a similar theme. So you came to it naturally? I came to loving it naturally. The rest was a struggle. But I always loved the study, especially the old Greek masters. Look around the museum. You're in the presence of greatness. Art is the physical manifestation of men and women reaching across thousands of years to share their secrets. And secrets never come easy, but they also never leave your heart. They're reaching out for you, Nancy. See them and reach back. Could an artist create an exact copy of the art on display? Who are you trying to fool? An expert, I guess. Which expert? Any expert. That's the trick. That's why most forgery doesn't work. Each expert speaks a different language. Some are chemists. Some focus on the process until they dream in brush strokes, patina, and lacquers. It's easy to fool one expert. Impossible to fool every expert. Could you? I couldn't fool any expert, let alone every expert. Do you have access to much of the museum's art? I get to study what's out and already catalogued, but I can't get at the rest. Goodbye. Until later. Hi. Why did you choose Persephone's story? I didn't click with it at first, but now when we rehearse, when I'm in the meadow, waiting for Hades, in my mind, I don't see the Narcissus flowers I'm gathering. I see the moments of my life when everything turns sour. But I see myself, the Persephone version of myself, and I am her. I know that's weird. That means there's something real about it. Did you know about Niobe's career problems? That she copied another artist's work? Well, something like that. Stop the questions there. I've never met anyone more regretful than Niobe. Can I help with anything? We're set. I can't keep distracting you from your job anyway. I think everyone's a little afraid of Thanos. Don't worry about him. He's all bark, no bite. I guess. But he seems very isolated from the rest of the cast. Creative differences. Just part of the process. Later. Talk to you later. Do you like what you found in my bag? Sorry if that was intrusive, but I'm here to keep tabs on the museum. Oh, then let me help you. 
The museum is on the exterior of the bag. The interior of the bag is not the museum. Museum? Not museum. You've made your point. See that I have. If it's okay for me to say so, it seems like you had a bit of a rough time growing up. We chose to put on a Greek tragedy. But when your parents die young, it's Dickens or nothing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The hard days are over. Growing up alone had its perks. It taught me how to study people. When you don't have much power, you have to know how to read people in your life. So it was something of a survival strategy? You could say that. Each time they put me in a new home, I'd do my research. I'd listen, watch people, feel them out. Every once in a while, I'd strike gold and find a diary. Why? If I liked the family, I'd do my best to be what they wanted. You didn't want to be yourself? I didn't think I'd be okay if I did. I figured, if you're taking in a kid, there must be something you want. I'd try to be whatever or whoever was missing from their home until they realized that never works. Not a great way to grow up. But an actor couldn't ask for finer training. How did you get into acting? It's not a proud story. Are you okay telling me? For you, dear, I'd do anything. I was discovered in the costume department. Nothing embarrassing about that. Stealing a warm jacket. <laughs> Got it. It was just my luck that the director of the theater needed some extras he couldn't afford. So for my first gig, I was paid in not going to juvenile lockup. A few key words to leave off the resume. I ran your background check. Now why would you go and do a thing like that? It's already been done. My friends have access to some pretty powerful resources. I have some bad news to report. Should I sit down? Maybe. According to my sources, you're not who you say you are. Oh. I should probably be wearing something else then. I know your background. My question is, why did you use a false name? Not false. I changed it legally. I slipped a little, not enough, money in the envelope to keep the record sealed. Is there a significance to the name you're using? There is. All the significance in the world. Gregor is the man who caught me stealing. He ran the theater. Is he a hero of yours? Mentor, I guess. He said I was a natural on the stage, but hopeless at life. My boy, you're the only student I've ever had to teach how to stop acting. With each show and rehearsal, he gave me a space to get to really be myself for the first time. He sounds very special. The truth might just be that he was an average man who found an unfortunate kid. To me, he was great. Did you know Niobe has a history as an art forger? I did, and that's a very dramatic way of putting it. Explain the difference to me. It's the difference between cheating off a friend and robbing a bank. Still, she did commit art forgery. She hid behind her friend because she was timid. If you ask me, her so-called friend is the real criminal here, making millions while Niobe scrapes by. Did I upset you earlier? No. The show was starting to rest on my shoulders more and more. I needed to catch my breath. What are your plans after the show? One day, I'd like to open up a theater of my own. Maybe give back the gifts I was given. I think that's a nice idea. And I'd put Gregor's name on the marquee. Like I said, I'm just borrowing the name. I've been keeping it safe until I can put it where it belongs. Why were you casting the role of Plutus? I knew I hadn't made my point. I don't recall Plutus ever being in the Persephone myth. Xenia had a sequence in mind where Demeter petitions all the gods. But it was too boring, too expensive, and did I mention too boring? I can't find any records of your previous performances. People don't really consider what we do to have much artistic merit. It's more like historical reenactments. No one reviews those. About that Plutus casting sheet I found in your bag? Which, let's remember, isn't part of the museum. Something about it seems odd. 
Why would you be casting this late in the game? I like working with undiscovered talent. Wouldn't Xenia be casting? Wouldn't there be some reference to Plutus in the script somewhere? You're unbelievable. It's a trait you and I share, apparently. I didn't lie. And don't you dare call anyone on that list. My contacts are already on it. Nancy, you have no idea what you just did. Explain it to me. With pleasure. For the last five years, five years, I've been researching angel investors. You know what those are? Yeah, they invest in new businesses when no one else will. Those are my angel investors, or were, for my theater, for Gregor's theater. It took years to get those names. They were coming to opening night, Nancy, and now they're gone. I promise it. Your contacts asking about me like I'm a crook? If you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to worry about. Leave me alone. Now! Go and don't come back! This is the exact book I needed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to match the correct tag to each face. That's it. Did that. Xenia said some of the real art will be on stage. Is that true? No. So, she lied to me. You're worried it will be stolen? No more confusion. No more risk. That is how we move through this. Bye-bye. Bye.
Nancy, you're in trouble. Tell me something new. Don't say anything. Thanos might be listening. I need you to say only what I tell you to. Thanos is involved with Kronos. Just say, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Good. He's most likely watching you for any sign you know. Pretend we're making small talk. I can't wait to see you either. We've got the network watching their communications. Oh, that is so like him. I'm going to need you to ask him about Kronos. Really? Why would he do that? I assume you're asking why. If he passes word, then we're getting you out of there right away. Of course. Classic Joe. If he doesn't, that means you're safe. It's a risk, but if he's still in organized crime, running away won't help. We'll have to deal with it head on. That sounds like a lot of fun. I know it's scary, but we have to know. Call me back and ask me about Joe's birthday once you've done it. You too. Okay, well, I'm at work, so I should go. Good luck. Let's see if I can pay the ferryman with this.